Now, to the best of your knowledge, let's test your let's test your knowledge here, Denise. To the best of your knowledge, where is Leslie right now? Where is Dr. Leslie Weber? Oh, um, I try to think she's not dead. Um, <laughs> I um, I hope she's. She, I don't know what's happening to me. I have, I'm turning into this absolute slut lying here and doing this podcast. <laughs> Um, I was going to say I hope she's getting a lot, but um, um, there was a time when, a number of years ago, when Leslie took Lulu on a cruise. So there was a little joke about that Leslie was, was going on a lot of cruises, which was actually something my dad did once he retired. He loved to travel, and he traveled as a young man, and he went on a lot of cruises. I don't know that that that's me. I I think I hate to think of her sitting all alone in her cold little room on Oak Street with nobody ever calling her. I think, right, everybody's forgotten all about look, her. Does anybody well, ever I talk mean, about her? You know, I, no, members think, of the family are dying and going to jail, and nobody ever says maybe we ought to call <laughs> Granny. I uh, think that listen, if anyone's heat's been shut off, it's definitely Leslie's, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> what kills me? Is this character is in a car crash, and then she was put into some drug, and she was in a comatose state. Leslie hasn't had a job in, I don't know, how, I want to know what money she's living off of. Um, maybe alimony, baby, alimony. Dr. From Rick who? Weber was rich. Oh, <laughs> that ran out a long time ago. Yes, but he's deader than a darnail right now. That's true. That's true. I like to think she's in Paris with her darling girl. If they asked you to come back, would you? You know, to do like a guest thing or help to just come back, I, period. I've spent years going back and visiting periodically. Um, I have absolutely no sense of dignity or pride in <laughs> saying, <laughs> well, tell me exactly what this character is going to be doing before I decide if I'm going to come back. I... I'm totally an acting slut, and as I have recognized in myself, and I'm sure said more than once for publication, um, I look around at people who were actors who became great directors and producers and artists and writers and went away from acting. You look at so many of them, and they're acting every chance they get. Um, because I think once you're an actor, you're always an actor. If you're an actor from your heart, from your spirit, from your soul, you didn't get into it because you thought it would be fun to make a lot of money and um, you were pretty because you couldn't live without doing it. It's what you were born to do. And I think so you're that's acting the... right now. So you're acting right now. Excuse me. <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea if that's Stephen or Richard. I don't even know how to respond to that. You both sound exactly alike. Who just said that? Well, it was Stephen. Uh, oh. You're such a liar. It is so... <laughs> Do you mean like in the evil sense that this is entertainment and it's we so are like performing? Evil twins yes. is what's going on. Okay. I, I, I have been surprisingly quiet, Mr. Stephen Silverman, here in this conversation. That's all I have to say. You have not. You have, either. and I have to say, I, that seems very unlike you. <laughs> what? Um... I said that I'm quiet. Well, I will say this. I had, um, I have had in the last two years the pleasure of working with some incredible actors. Um, my original six, Sam, Stacy, D, Troy, Terry, Michael, uh, I'll even throw Kirsten in there. Um, they're all very good friends of mine and have been very good friends of mine for years. And then we slowly added to the pile the likes of my pal Melissa Peterman and Jennifer Elise Cox and Madeline Long and and the list goes on and on. And this season was pretty magical because Denise and I sort of tag teamed um, in our own special way uh, getting Jeannie Francis on board. And the day we shot with Jeannie, it was a really magical day. It was really, really fun to watch you guys together and watch you guys really, really having a good time and um, I think a really good time. Uh, oh, yeah. And their actresses, <laughs> they were acting. They were acting like they were having a good time. They were no, acting. We had, we, had, we had a pickup day for Jeannie because of her schedule. So um, 
it was kind of a very, like, it was like a hodgepodge of people. It was Emma Caulfield and Jennifer Elise Cox was here and Jeannie was here with them and Mary Beth Evans was here. And, and it was the, the oddest group of people because it was, you know, Leslie Weber from General Hospital and then there was Kayla from Days of Our Lives and then there was um, Emma from, who was on Bucket the Vampire Slayer and then there was Jan Brady, Jennifer Elise Cox. Um, but that was one really fun day and... And it was really fun to watch Denise, who I've done a lot of comedy with over the years, and Jeannie do comedy. And and they, in the past, did it together many years ago in some of their mother-daughter scenes on General Hospital. But to reinvent it and to play off of it and to just watch, I mean, I hope Denise will back me up. We laughed the whole day. I mean, we had a ball. Oh, yes, absolutely. They had Jeannie in the chair and all of us who had done scenes without her being there over the past several weeks. Um, a lot of people had done their scenes with the doctor, which runs through the whole season, without Jeannie being there. She was off on location. And so she came in to do her side of those scenes. And then a few of us who I think were the most fortunate got to actually do our scenes with her. And she's stunningly good. She is amazing. She's done so little comedy and she loves it so much. And I had never really I had never really seen her do um this kind of of thing, this kind of oh, comedy. Never. And and I was really, really impressed. I, I just I really was very blown away because I, I had no idea you know what she, whether she would be able to to pull that off with it being sort of such broad comedy, and and she was a natural. She she just looked like she was having a blast. Uh, that's Steve, that was, right? No, that was Richard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys, you're you're going to make me crazy. This is so unfair. I really, literally, cannot tell. I don't know which of us should be offended more. <laughs> that's a good um, Richard. I never finished answering my question that no, I was no, no. given by Richard. Um, so <laughs> there's a fight always where you say, oh, gosh, should I be doing this? Isn't this the right thing to do? Am I going to be sorry I did it? And then there's a part of you that says to the other part, shut up, shut up, shut up. Somebody's asking us to act. And you just want to do whatever it is. And I love General Hospital. I have so much to be thankful for because of General Hospital. I had the best time being part of General Hospital in an amazing era. Uh, I mean, I was fortunate enough to be there when it started to glow golden, and it was, it is the greatest blessing in life to get up and go to work every single morning and be so thrilled that you are going off to do that work. Actors would, <laughs> I just realized what I'm about to say, Actors would work for free, but they don't tell anybody that. I am working for free. I'm pretty, you see. So we literally would do it. We love doing it so much. And to find a place where you have fellow actors, where you, the tones of what you do harmonize and you twine around each other and soar to the skies and, and the people are lovely and the material is wonderful and you get to do so much, it's just, Pretty is that, and General Hospital was that. So um, that may be an answer in and of itself. Okay, now this is yeah. this time. This is Steve talking now. Just so you know, Denise, I will tell you that. Uh, speaking of Miss Jeannie, she had to do a lot of work for us in a very short time. It, just like Denise said, we pre-shot so many people because we couldn't get them in and all all in and out in all those therapy sessions in one day. So we pre-shot everybody. And if you go and watch episode four, which is now playing at prettytheseries.com, you will see um, uh, therapy sessions. And all the therapy sessions, everyone on the couch in every scene, those were shot in August. And all of Jeannie's reactions, which we cut away to, were shot in September. And we matched them. And she went beat for beat with us, went through every single one, made sure we had every single one. And then we did have those wonderful times when we'd have Sam and Stacy that are play off of her, Denise to play off of her. Mary Beth Evans was with her. They had a ball. Um, they hadn't seen each other in forever. Emma was with her. 
Um, uh, Jennifer Elise Cox was with her. And, and it was really, really super fun. And it was um, a real testament to um, not only everybody's incredible creativity and talent, but everybody's patience um, in getting through all this minutia. I, I worked at uh, General Hospital. I worked at Days of Our Lives um, many years ago, 1992 and 1993. Um, and I will tell you that um, soap actors, actors on daytime dramas, one of the, the greatest things about them, um, they know how to memorize lines, find the moments, the good ones do, like Denise and Jeannie and Mary Beth and Martha Byrne, who we have with us this year. They can find those moments, and you can get right to it. There's, there's not a lot of direction needed. There's not a lot of, you know, Denise was saying earlier that I leave it pretty open because so many of these people who walk in the door to come play with us, I just get the fuck out of their way because they're so good. And I map out a character, and we talk about different little pieces of the character, and some people like Sam Pancake, who's my leading man, Michael Champagne, he'll tell me to stop because he wants to get to that place on his own. I'll give him little pieces. Other people, like Stacy, to create a net, we spent all this time talking about all the different things. What does a net want? Where is a net going? What is she thinking? And all these things. And they're just very talented people. So I give them all a lot of credit. I give Jeannie a lot of credit because we threw her into the fire that morning, and she rolled. She just rolled with us. And what I love is the, is the story of how that came about. Jeannie had been off shooting a movie and got back into town and really had not had a chance to read the script. I think she read it maybe the night before she came into work, and I think, as she told me, she talked to Stephen and said, kind of was asking who the character was and what he was looking for. And he gave her one I was going to say line, one sentence, which is that Dr. Kate is the voice of reason in a sea of insanity, or words to that effect. And it, it, Jeannie was thrilled about that. And when you watch her, what she found, I'm still stunned. I mean, I watch these people, and I am stunned. I am stunned at the work that is being done. It is so amazing. Um, Stacy in in one of the shows, the show with the uh, with the RV, where they go off without her, and she comes out of the door calling. It's a wonderful comedic moment, and she's calling hello, hello, and she realizes that they've gone without her, and she turns to go back into the house, and the door has locked behind her, and you just see her shoulders slump and her head falls down, and it is, I can't tell you how brilliant that is. As an actor trying to work in comedy, you know the very famous, very famous line attributed to a very famous actor who lay a dying, and and um, he was an icon, and a friend was there saying, "Oh, is it hard? Is it hard?" And his last words are said to have been, "Dying is easy, comedy is hard." And that's the truth. And to watch what these people do, to watch Jeannie's face as she goes through those scenes, and just react to everybody. And sometimes she's reacting to somebody who isn't actually there. I don't mean that she's not, but the actor is not there doing the scene with her. Uh -huh. I am, I, it's, um, it's, it's breathtaking how good these people are. Uh, Jeannie said she wanted to just go watch them and learn, and I feel this, I want to watch her, I want to watch every one of them. I, you want to suck it in and drink it in and say, Oh, I want to learn how do you do that. It's so wonderful. Well, you know, I have to say, um, uh, first of all, I want to thank both of you for taking the time out of your crazy busy schedules to lay on your beds and <laughs> share this time with me and with my listeners. And um, and more importantly, I, I just, I really. You know, I like, I, I love the glimpse that you gave us into sort of the crazy, crazy world that goes on behind the scenes at Pretty so that we can have the awesome show that is, is Pretty. Um, again, it's Pretty the Series, and we've been chatting with one of its stars, Denise Alexander, who many of you know is Dr. Leslie Weber from General Hospital fame, and of course, 
CreativeSeries.com creator, Steve Silverman. And guys, again, thank you so, so much for joining me tonight and for taking the time out. I really, it's been a blast, and I think everyone will enjoy it as much as I enjoy talking to you. Thank you. It was fun. Thank you for having us.